Or do we have Romans? One sixteen, the power of the gospel. And we also have uh, James Arthur Impossible Acoustic Karaoke Version. All right, you and me, Lord. Here we go. This is going to be take one. I completely have confidence. Ooh. I have complete confidence in the gospel. It is God's power, power to say, save all who believe. First the Jews and all so the Gentiles, the gospel reveals how God puts people right. He puts people right with himself through faith from beginning to end. As the scripture says, the person who's put right with God through faith shall live. Oh, the person who's put right with God shall live through faith. You see, God's anger is revealed from heaven against all sin, against all evil people whose evil ways prevent the truth from being known, prevent the truth from being known. And God punishes them because what can be known about God is plain. Oh, it's plain to them, for God himself made it plain. Oh, ever since God created the world, his invisible qualities boast his eternal power. And his divine nature have been clearly seen. Oh, been clearly seen. He has made. Oh, so many people have no excuse at all. They know God, but they do not give him the honor that belongs to him. Oh, their thoughts have become completely nonsense. Oh, they do not thank him instead. Their thoughts, completely nonsense, eh? Their emptiness. Their empty minds are filled with darkness. They say they are wise, oh, but they are fools. Oh, they are fools instead of worshiping the immortal God. They worship images made like mortal men or birds or animals. Or reptiles. And so God has given those people over. Over. Given those people over to do the filthy things their minds and hearts desire. And they do those shameful things. They do them shameful things with each other. They do them shameful things with each other. They exchange the truth about God for a lie. They worship and serve what God has created instead of the creator, hey, himself who is to be praised forever and ever and ever and ever. Because they do this, God has given them over to shameful passions. Even the women pervert the natural use of their sex by unnatural acts. Same way the men give up natural sex relations with women, burn passion 
for each other. For men do shameful things with each other. Oh, I gave them up. To do the filthy things their hearts and their mind desires. The shameful things with each other. Oh, with each other. Because those people refuse to keep in mind the true knowledge of God. Oh, and he has given them over to the corrupted minds. So they do these things that they should not do. They are filled with all kinds of wickedness. All kinds of evil greed and vice. Full of jealousy, murder. Fighting, deceit, malice, oh, they gossip. They speak evil of one another. They are hateful to God. Insolent, proud, boastful. They think of more ways to do evil. They think of more ways to do evil. And they disobey their parents. They have no conscience. They don't keep their promises. Ooh. They don't keep their promises. They show no kindness or pity to others. They know God's law. It says that people who live in this way deserve death. Yet, not only do they continue to do these very things, but they even approve of the others who do them. The guilt of mankind, the power of the gospel. Ooh, 